Hey y'all, it is two days before Christmas and I got my phone set up here on my truck so I can be all safe and stuff while I'm driving. But if you're anything like me, then you are last minute as heck. I procrastinate really bad on everything, including Christmas shopping. So I'm gonna give y'all a little last minute gift guide or whatever you want to call it, gift ideas, because I don't think guys the right word for it. You know, whoever you're Christmas shopping for, I don't. All that good stuff. Plus, I drank some Dunkin' Donuts coffee a while ago, and it, that caffeine's got me on another level. Caramel macchiato, that stuff's so good. But, whether you're shopping for men or women, whichever one, e-gift cards. You can be as last minute as you want on those. You can get one of them on Christmas Day and have it emailed to whoever you're shopping for. So, good little idea there. Right, so, e-gift cards. You can get one, a Safe Bets Country Outfitter. A lot of folks love boots. I love boots. I say Country Outfitter because that's where I get all my boots from because they carry a bunch of brands. And my road is bumpy as mess. I'm sorry, y'all. They carry a bunch of brands. They've got Corral. Idle Wind, Ariat, or Ariat, however you pronounce that. I've heard it pronounced like 12 different ways, and I still don't know which one's the right technical way. But they've got several brands, so it's a pretty safe bet. They can go in and pick out what they want, because I'm bad at picking out other people's stuff. All of that. Um, I'm not the best. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry. I'm not the best at shopping for women. Because usually I will go in and like Belk or something and find those little Sherpa pullover hoodie deals that are like on sale for $20. That's what I did this year. That's what I got for my mom, my stepmom, my grandmother. Hopefully they won't see this before Christmas and I give it to them. Um, big truck, you better get in your life. up on my own dash thing where the speedometer and all that good stuff is but anyways um also the kind that will go in bath and body works and do the basic white chick thing and buy soap and lotion and all that for the women in my life and yankee candles because safe bet that's the ones i usually don't know well enough to know like their clothes sizes and all but men or women that like to hunt and shoot and all that good stuff I will I'm gonna just take y'all in our barn where we store all of our hunting stuff outdoor shooting stuff all that good stuff because most of that stuff you can just run in tractor supplier Bass Pro Cabela's some of it Walmart and get last minute oh my dirt road's awful hang on i'm gonna show y'all my dirt road it has been raining which means my dirt road is nice, nice. alabama red dirt baby anyways here in a second i'm gonna take y'all in our game room and do some stuff that is really good gift wise. Last minute too, because like I said, a lot of it you can go in Tractor Supply, Bass Pro, some of it Walmart, and get it last minute. So now that I'm home, I can go through some of the stuff that we use a lot just because I know that it's good product. Some of them are sponsors, but we only. We only work with companies we believe in, products we love and know that we can, you know, that we trust, that we know works, etc. All that good stuff. Um, my tiny Christmas tree, my little tiny house, my deer horns, turkey beards, a few of them. But anyways, some of them are sponsors. Some of them are just products that, like I said, that we use, we know, we believe in, all that good stuff. 
Okay, number one. This is not a sponsor. This is just the knife that I have used. I'm gonna open my blinds. This is just the knife that I have used for years. My dad's used them for years. Case, as you see, this one's got a little bit of blood on it. <laughs> yeah, you can get these everywhere. You can get case knives everywhere. Local, hard, uh, local hardwood stores, co-ops, tractor supply, Bass Pro. And the reason that we like the yellow handle case knives, this is the smaller trapper. They've got a regular size trapper too. Um, these, the yellow handles, most of them have the CV blade. I can't remember exactly what CV stands for. I know they've got more, yeah, I need to wash my knife, more carbon in them than like the stainless steel blades. We don't like stainless steel as much just because they don't hold an edge like these CV blades. It's like, I'll, I'm gonna jack up the name so bad. Chrome then something is what cv stands for i can't remember but you can tell what kind of blade it has this one has a lot of blood and stuff on it because i hadn't washed it off typical hannah fashion but right here you can see what kind of blade it's got if it's stainless steel it'll have ss on it if it's this cv kind that we like that just holds an edge real good when you sharpen it it's cv the thing about these blades is they rust but it's okay because they hold an edge so good. Case knives. As you can see, that one has been well used. I think I've had it for, when did I get it? I got it for Christmas 2015, I think, and it's 2019 now. So I've had it for a spell. It's been sharpened a lot by dad because I suck at sharpening knives. We always use the, um, stones to sharpen our knife where you like spin it in the oil and it i'm so bad at explaining stuff i'm sorry y'all plus that coffee has got me on another level still i had to take a break and get something to eat <clears throat> hoping this caffeine rush would get off of me a little bit but i'm i still feel it all right so before i go in our game room which is full of all kinds of stuff I'm gonna go through my truck, which is also full of all kinds of junk from where I've been traveling all weekend. Just so y'all can see it, it looks really bad in here. I was saying something about um, Country Outfitter for Boots earlier. That's where I got these out of winds. And my other boots I got. I was gonna see what all I had in here because I know I got some stuff. Okay, this is a good gift idea and last minute because you can get it at Tractor Supply. You can get them anywhere that sells sporting goods, stuff for shooting outdoors, etc. Walkers, game ear. Protects your hearing when you're shooting. Um, these are the kind that you can turn this little knob on and it actually helps you hear, but then when you shoot, it muffles it out. And these... These are my real tree walkers. I've had them for two years. They've gone on both annual gator hunts where we took out 77 gators last year and this past summer we caught 69. Had these on pretty much all day. Batteries still work on them. So, good purchase. And you can get them last minute. Okay. Coolers. Hard to go wrong with coolers too. This one is propped up like this. This is the Gator Cooler. It's one of our partners. But like I said, we're only with people that, <clears throat> only with companies that we, that we trust, we believe in. They've got great customer service. We've had people that have completely trashed their coolers and then got up with them and they've helped them out. We're good friends with folks that own the company. They're great folks, down home people from Louisiana got little gators for the latches this one's real tree we've got it open and propped open right here because we took it with us to illinois and this is what we put all of our deer meat in off that eight point dad killed and that's where we washed it off now i'm about to take you in 
our game room, which is probably a complete mess. But it's where all of our hunting stuff is. Uh... <laughs> so, where's my bow at? My bow must still be in the case. Yeah, we shoot elite. This is for the very dedicated bow hunter and stuff in your life. Elite bows, you can get them from any archery shop, usually. Um, what else do we got that is a good last minute gift? Of course, broadheads. Hard to go wrong with broadheads because if whoever you're looking to buy for is a bow hunter, you can't have too many broadheads. We've killed several deer with the same broadhead before after we sharpen them, of course. But we've, we carry packs around that are full of broadheads. See, look. Oh. Full. Full of broadheads. This is my pack. You see, it's mostly the thunderheads because that is what I've shot for the past five years, I think, with my little compound bow. And I'm kind of hard-headed, and when I find something that I like, I stick with it, and I know it works. So, I've shot broad or thunderhead broadheads for the past five years. They're great. I love them. Fix points. Do the trick. And you can get them at Walmart, Tractor Supply, Cabela's, Bass Pro, anywhere. So, last minute. Walker's electronic earbuds these are good too because they're bluetooth so i've used them while running before they're good for shooting because they block out the noise and all but you can also bluetooth them and when i lost my other headphones i said well i'll just try these and i bluetoothed my music to them and i played my music through these while i ran what else is a good last minute gift trail cameras Ah, yes, trail cameras. Because you can't have too many of those either. Trail cameras. We've used, stealth, ugh, we've used stealth cam for the past two or three years. Another one of our partners, but like I said, it's one we believe in. Um, they've lasted longer than any other trail camera I've used because we've bought them in the past and usually they last about a year. But with stealth cam, so far, we've had them all last for two or three years, which is how long we've had them. Take good pictures. They take good pictures, have long battery life. You can't have too many trail cameras unless you got them all out at once and you forget where they are. So that's another safe gift to buy for the hunter in your life. It's trail cams. All right, stocking stuffers. You got like headlamps, which that's by Cyclops. Let me see work lights regular flashlights another really good stocking stuffer that is very inexpensive and you can get at walmart and any of these other places are hot hands we're not partnered with them at all but i use them religiously almost every time i hunt because i hate wearing gloves especially bow hunting i feel like i can't use my hands right if i got on gloves which i know is not good but Hunters are easy to buy for because you really can't have too much of some stuff like broadheads and trail cameras and flashlights because you're going to lose them if you're anything like me. Knife kit, skinny knife with the gut hook. I mean, possibilities are endless. So pretty much I could go on all day about stuff that you can give as gifts. Just depends who you're shopping for. So that was my kind of redneck version of last minute gift ideas hope it helped if not i'm sorry hope y'all have a merry christmas appreciate y'all